Um, my name is Kim Benedict and I am a respiratory therapist. I work at Carroll Hospital and I have been there for a little over, almost about two years now. I am a ex-retired uh, military wife um, and we traveled all over the world and I was never able to find something just for me. I went into the dental field years ago and um, I decided that there's just no way for me to move up unless I wanted to be a dentist. And I really didn't want to be a dentist. So I started looking into different options of what I could do and I felt like the best thing for me to do was from the waist up <laughs> because I don't like waist down. And I decided that respiratory therapist was such a growing profession that I thought, wow, maybe I'll give a look into this. And I had some friends that were respiratory therapists and I would ask them about it. And I thought, wow, being able to help people breathe, that would feel like such an accomplishment. So I went to school for it. And while I was in school, I still wasn't sure, is, is this what I really want to do? But once I hit clinicals, I was like, this is it. This is my job. I want to care for people. I want to help them. I want them to breathe. Because, you know, ultimately, if we don't breathe, then we're not here. So I just thought it was a very rewarding career. So my first experience with COVID was a little over two years ago. And I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. Um, I had heard on the news. I knew that some, there was an outbreak of something coming. Um, I thought myself, like everyone else, maybe it's the common cold or it's the flu. We weren't really what, I wasn't really sure what to expect with it until it actually hit us. And then once it hit us, I was just baffled by the way that it presented itself, where a patient would come in and they'd be on room air and then all of a sudden they'd be on a little bit of oxygen and then all of a sudden they'd be on a lot of oxygen and then we'd be moving up on all of our equipment so quickly and I just thought wow this thing is taking people out so it was very scary um, I didn't know what to expect um, I didn't know how to keep myself clean and how to keep myself safe and to keep my family safe when I would go home I wasn't exactly sure what to expect I had my husband, well, ex now, but my husband moved to Virginia to a different house because I didn't want him in my house with me because I just, I didn't know. I didn't want to get anybody sick. So it was very scary, um, but also very, um, we just had no clue what was going to happen with this. And when they said a pandemic, I've never been in a pandemic before. I've heard about the polio pandemic. I've heard about the smallpox. I don't remember those, but I do remember this one, and it was, it's been tough. Well, the most rewarding part is saving a life, but this pandemic is being able to know that somebody got to go home and they got to hear the COVID recovery song on their way out the doors. That gives me chills. I work night shifts, so I don't hear it a lot, but when I stay over and I work days and I hear that song, I just say, yes, they did it. It is so awesome. It makes me so happy, puts a smile on my face, and it's so gratifying to know that I was implemental in helping their care. I helped them. And so did all the other respiratory therapists and the nurses and the doctors and the staff. And we did it. Um, in the beginning, I thought, oh my gosh, they can't come up with a vaccine quick enough for this. But I've sat and I've watched it for two years and I personally didn't want the vaccine. Um, but then when I started seeing the patients on the ventilators and not making it, I thought to myself, do I wanna be selfish? Do I want my kids to have to make a decision to take me off a ventilator? Or would I rather do what I need to do, do what I've asked, been asked to do by the CDC or by the hospital, and if I do go on a ventilator, I know I did everything I could possibly do to protect myself. And that's what I want people to think about. Um, I know that everybody, there's just so many mixed um, theories of this, this vaccine, but do yourself a favor and get yourself vaccinated. Get yourself boosted. If you're elder in, your, in the elderly population, please do it because it's going to be a tough fight for you. It really is if you get it. 